We are unmuted. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm All totally right. ready. You ready? Just let me know, like, so I can mute it. Or something. We're, We're unmuted. Not. We're going now. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> What's going on, friends? That's right. It is Sunday. The what is this? Is this the second Sunday of the month? It's the High End Vape Forum. Welcome and hello. Hello and welcome in grim green fashion. Uh, yo, we're going to hang out. We got a couple things to talk about, some fancy stuff. I got some new Huge. stuff in and uh, wanted to kind of talk to you guys about it a little bit. Uh, I know I know that pal has been battling with some issues that we got to talk about. And uh, yeah, Personal, all kinds of stuff. Grab your grab your coffee, grab your your monster your caffeine i mean depending on what time it is where you are i don't know sit back relax and enjoy the show my name's stan and you have found the tenacious tx vapes channel (laughs) word Dude, Mike said he hopes that you're wearing a dope sweater, dude. You're letting him down. You're letting down oh, Mike. Oh, oh. Let him let down. Him, I, let I him down the big the man. Ravens, See what you right? did? Ravens. Boom. Hello, pan. Wait, there we go. Hello, panel. Good morning. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, are we doing football? Are we Are we doing our football stuff? Is It is Sunday. I'm shout it? out uh, Vapor Swags. He's my favorite team in the NFL, is Vapor Swags. <laughs> Same. Shout out like to Marjorie. Hat, I feel like this hat makes my head look even bigger, so I only wear it like sometimes. I don't know. Whatever. We can rock this hat. We can do this. Ugh. We're do, we're we're sporting the football teams today because it's football day NFL in the U.S. of A. Oh yes. Congrats to the Houston Astros, by the way. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so hey, very cool. Very look at this hoity-toity mofo. With his uh, Frappuccino 1,000 calorie soccer mom okay. drink. Marjorie just brought it for me. It was very nice. Uh, Marjorie, you're the true MVP. <laughs> Shout out to everyone for tuning in on a Sunday. I see uh, some vape royalty out there. Yeah, my, why don't you roll through and give some shout outs, bro? My boo, we0609. I've been talking for a while. We've been on like kind of broke up for a little bit, but I feel like we're on the way back in. We're on the mend. So my boo, we six six nine out in the house. We have fictitious character who is a legend in all facets of vaping. We have this uh, smaller reviewer in the audience. His name is Mike Vapes. If you guys have not heard of him, <laughs> check out. He's got very good content. He's getting a lot better. You should definitely subscribe. Uh, yes, <laughs> I heard he's got some decent uh, hardware too. And then we have um, Nick Pinkerton. The man, the myth, the legend who came up with the uh, original, the uh, Squonkerton, the pink, that badass Wismic that had the uh, DNA chip in it before it came out. Badass, Mod Bros. We have uh, Philly Vapes. What up, Philly? Another reviewer. And uh, my vape twin, Sick Boy. Everything that I own, like I bet this setup right here, he probably is vaping. Who else do we have? Coil, Coil Probe. Probe. Yeah, the Coil Pro. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Coil Pro. We got to work with Todd in his eyes. So. Jeremy Lane, dude. Thank you. He's like the fucking biggest stud. Sorry, language. He's the biggest stud uh, p- posting pictures in the group by far. Swamp Squonk Mike. Total badass. He looks like he listens to Tool. I'm going to go to Tool on Wednesday. I'm just saying. <laughs> My vacation starts right now for the next week. Uh, who else? Uh, Grumpy Old Vapor. He's a super badass. The world doesn't care. He comes up as TWDC or whatever on the screen. Kamustaka uh, pare. He's just informed me. He is Filipino, but he lives in California. So he's not from the motherland of mech tubes. Nick Pinkerton uh, said, yeah, I'm pretty badass. He is bad. <laughs> to this day, like, they stole the, when the Pulse Duel came out, they kind of, like, used his design, only they made it shittier. Jeremy Lane, what up, my man? All right, so yeah. since you're doing shout outs and everything, uh, pal, why don't you talk to us a little bit about what you're vaping on, man? Look at that thing. This thing is from like, this thing was built in like 2016, three years ago. <laughs> DNA 75C, Cerakoted. He moved the 510. Look at that. Boom. It was a dual 18650 battery, squonker before they existed. All magnets. Huh? Huh? Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked. What yeah. am I doing now? 
<laughs> Tell Sorry. us what you're vaping on, bro. All right. <laughs> ah. So I decided I'm going to use both my work setups. These are the two setups that I use at work all the time. The first one is the Mums switch right here, which was actually bought to me by my boo, Wii0609. I use this probably more than anything at work just because it's super light and the squonk bottle's huge. What's happening? And Hold on. There's a lot of choppiness going on. I mean? No, the whole thing, like everything is choppy. Choppy? It's showing up on the stream. Really? It looks mean? like it's stopped now. Go ahead. Let's continue. I'm sorry. El Chapo. Shout out to uh, Spork Life and Mike in LA. By the way, I see you guys out there and Chessy. Uh, okay, yeah, back to the setup. So, yes, the, the Mums Switch, which is very lightweight. I like it. It does. The button, though, it will stick over time. This little safety thing sticks. There's no way to get around it, but it's easy to get unstuck. Huh. On top of that, we have, of course, the Haku Cruiser with... Uh, I don't think this is a never, never, never normal. What's the other one? Simple? Simply? Simple caps? Anyway, slam cap on that. Inside of there, always, we have Skull Candy 5150. The other work setup, which this thing is indestructible. I've dropped it a million times. The trusty, rusty SQ, the old school version, the 18650, because it's small. With the flavor, RDA on top. Inside of this, we have Taffy Splash. And then one that I never did a review on, but this uh, one gen. Little squonker right here, 18650. Pops in half like that. Pretty badass little setup. And on top of that, we have the biochip. And inside of that, we have some deep cuts. Dragon shake inside that guy. And last but not least, I always have to have a mech tube. So I always have my favorite dual coil ever, the UDG25 with the MCM M4. Detox 5150 in that. And that's all that I got. So I'm going to try to stay on track and I'm just going to pass it to the best hair in vaping and the best sweaters. And that would be Louis Nicolette. Take it away. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. So how's everyone chat doing this, this fine Sunday evening or, or afternoon, wherever you're from. Um, today, let's see what we're starting with. Ah, good old reliable, Stratum 303, Narca with Simply Tips. Cap on top inside there. Best match in vaping. Uh, oh no, I left it upstairs, but crooks and coffee together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, next, we got some more alter ego together with the, the crit box, criminal mods, uh, mini rail uh, with the uh, secro on top. Hoping to get my never normal stainless steel caps pretty soon for that and uh we got some doppelganger doppelganger there dude nice. love that stuff uh next we got some uh flavor action going on the flavor rdta on the sat burn oh that's one of my favorite max dude love the switch on this little thing yeah like, bro short so it's such a perfect it's so in. tiny it feels so good in your hand yes. wait let's it's see like it again a, it's like a like i hold it like this sometimes like yeah a cigar where I'm just like in bed, just vaping away. So there we got some buttermilk berry pie. Pink what size battery is that? Bed. What size battery is in that, Louis? 18650. It's 18650, and it's literally only a couple millimeters thicker than an 18650 diameter. Yeah, dude, it's about, it's about 70 millimeters tall. It's it's tiny. Dude, that's short, especially for having an actual bottom switch assembly and not it's a size 18, fire. 18, that's nice. Tube is as big as my pinky. It, mm -hmm. It's tiny. Uh, like they have that. a 21700 coming out pretty soon too. And the caps, fan. it goes like they do the. You can get the multiple different tubes for different batteries. The caps yeah. go on and off both sides. Yep, yep. They just screw so. on like that, like telescopic. So there's yeah. no adjustment at all. Plus, I like when Louis has a mech tube in his lineup. Something about yeah. it. I smile inside when I see Louis hit a mech tube. Even though he's been hitting him for years, but I still like seeing Louis hit a mech tube. No, never be a dripper on top of this thing. Always RPAs. <laughs> no, Maybe some Jennies here and there with some you mesh. You do this ever. No, no. Once in a while. Once in a blue moon. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Got my ride or die. Call fire shadow with uh, Skyfall on top. Another Simply Tips cap. Uh, inside there. We, what else do I always have in there? Some country clouds, cornbread pudding. 
Oh, as always. Smock cornbread. You don't want to I touch got cornbread. Two of my favorite mods back this week. So it's been a, a good bait mail week, but it's been bait mail I already had. I had to send this bad boy out to get it fixed. I was cleaning the screen and I maybe was kind of rough with it with a Q-tip and I pushed the screen in. So I had to send it back to Marco. Marco fixed it up for me. Good guy. On the top of there, we got the uh, ESG Skyline with the Sky Drop kit on there. Inside there, we got some uh, JMA Designs Graham Cracker. I just got on his new list. So I'll have some more of his custard coming soon. And he's got an oatmeal cream cookie coming out soon. Oh, there's my crook right there. Oh, and, uh, quick shout out. I hate to interrupt, but it's for a uh, badass. Program. Yes. Alex McKenzie just posted to all of us and it said, David Mortem is, uh, I think he's sick. Mom he has room. a surgery. He has a surgery, so he's not going to be watching today. But we are sending our love and prayers and good vibes and energy your way. We miss you. So when you watch the replay, let's all take a rip for David. Let's take a rip. Hold on. Which one do I have? I have his coil and I have a coil, a Pilgrim Vapes coil in this poet right here. This bud's for you, David. Yes, David. And uh, it's funny enough, I got a Pilgrim coil in here, space with a mesh build in my uh, Integra from Baitware Mods. And uh, on top, or on the bottom more like it, the uh, Fusion Project Aria. Ooh. I like that button. Inside there, we got some uh, Mr. Todd pimped liquids. Some uh, Regency Carmen, dude, by Haku. Nice. nice. stuff. Is Dude, you're so high end. It's fucking makes so me so spot on. <laughs> I'm not so even worried. Like it, it is like eating real creme brulee. It's the closest thing I ever had in a vape liquid. It's I, I just I first vape. I was like, damn, this is good. Um, who has this? Uh, Rob over at Steam Island has it. Mark's group did a little group buy. It was like ten pounds for sixty mil. Really hey, Louis, what mic are you using? What's that? What mic are you using? My desktop mic. Can you mic get it a little closer to you? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, I can pull it closer. Cool. All right, move my seat closer. Is that better? Yeah. All right. So, yeah. If you want some uh, Regency, check out Steam Island. He should have some more in stock. And uh, that's me. Take it away, Stan. Dope. All right. So, first off, I got to say that FP Aria is absolutely sexy, amazing. Um, what do those things run? 600 euro. <sighs> That's I'm, I'm, right. I've been trying not to like go crazy lately, but the TFX mod and the FP Aria, like I want one or the other or both. I'm just, I know, I know, that but I want the one it. with the blasted tube. Yeah. I want the blasted, the blasted hardware. These Cerakote tubes are, are just amazing. Everything it's, on this is, is made by Olick and, and Gian. Like, just a well-built mod. The threading, it's a brass tube with Cerakote over the top of it, and the threads are just, you don't even feel it. It's just so cool. Anyways, and the custom, I, I had to get check to out my, uh, Let's get to my somewhat <laughs> mediocre setup compared to Louis. Um, you see how I did that, Stan? I, I went first, and then I put it right to Louie. <laughs> Stan's Louis. about Louis. to show me up with what he's about to show. So oh, I, I appreciate you. Understand. I appreciate you yeah. doing that. Um, so first and foremost, I got the limo on top with the poet on top. Okay. Uh, with the raven cap. Um, also, I am rocking the the melody. Uh, what is this? This is the, the, four, the 350J chip um that i just yeah, got 350 jv2 yes i just got that with the uh the core the reborn the core design reborn on top uh and then next i got i got i got this one to replace this one so if you're looking for a delrin bomber mosfet uh melody box hit me up so also i am rocking the ornament the Stratum ornament with the BF99 on top of that, mm, which so is such a cool ass looking tank, man. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, I've got the Abstract Mods 2700 uh, DNA 75C with the 
Alco, the unicorn RDA, the Alco on top of it. Um, oh. I've been looking for one of those for a minute. Found one. How are you liking that thing, man? I built it last night. Okay. And okay, here, first off, I got to say, sorry, FC. I made a trade with FC. All right. I traded go. him. I traded him a pretty kick ass box mod that's hard to get, number 007. I traded him my no name uh, checkmate, the black oh. 007. Uh, and I gave him a little bit of cash for a Integra and the Alco. There's my Integra. I haven't built it yet. But here's the thing. He's like he's like the man, trade man. He's like, boom, next day, shipped out, done. And I haven't even shipped my box yet. So um, I'm shipping it tomorrow, I promise. It's going tomorrow. Uh, I cleaned it up and everything for you. I love you, FC. But anyway... The Alco, it confuses me a little bit, or it confused me a little bit, <clears throat> because building it, I, I don't, people are talking about stuff in the chat, I didn't see. What do you think about the Reborn? I'll let you know in just a minute, uh, Ryan. Um, but, so the Alco, for one, it's sexy, all right? It's not yeah. overly complicated, it's super simple. Um, it's just one of the, and you know what? Honestly, for what it's worth, I don't know if I would spend that much money on it. Because retail is like I'll be 100% honest. honest, But RRP is 350. RRP is 350, but people want anywhere from 500 bucks plus, you know, for it because they're so rare and um, there's not that many of them. Uh, But I. It's been something that I wanted for a long time. And now that I have it and I know not a lot of people have it, I'm like, it makes me feel happy. (laughs) <laughs> because yeah, it's and it makes thing. me feel even happier that i'm enjoying the vape off of it but mm-hmm. it did confuse me because half the rda it's got two sides it's got two sides of of a cutout on the cap right yeah but the airflow can only be adjusted on one side hmm. so it made me wonder because if you look whoops it's it's a two it's a two-piece cap and if you look it's got holes all the way around half the RDA. But the airflow can only be All the way around half the RDA. Yeah, it's got even holes spaced for half the RDA's cap. Okay? And so it's got so, holes on half the half the side Yeah, like cap. So, okay. so it can only be used one-sided, but you have a range from about uh I would say 10 o'clock, 10 and 2. You have a range from 10 and 2 of holes to use. And you just run this around to wherever you want to kind of dial in your airflow. Can you only shut it off from like one side to the other? Or are there like ways where you can shut off? Like I don't think you could shut it off at all. It's oh. just strange that they have a cutout for the airflow on both sides of the very top, See, top cap. You yeah. can take it. You can't really adjust it. Like you can take it down to two, but then it's not lined up with like you have to turn the cap to line it up with the coil. Mm -hmm. but and then it's closed on the other side it's interesting uh it confused me because of that i wasn't quite sure i was like why is it like this when there's not dual-sided airflow yeah Um, yeah that that would confuse me too concept design but does it work but i I gotta tell you i don't i gotta tell you um half of me wanting it so bad and all the holes the holes are different sizes it looks like as well um but half of me wanted it just because i was intrigued at why people loved it so much yeah half of me wanted it because it was uh, like a unicorn like really hard like I, it's just and half of me wanted it because i wanted something that like i had an opportunity to purchase one in the past and i i backed out because i was like i'm not spending 600 bucks on it mm. and i had a mod i had a mod to trade that fictitious character was really interested in. We went back and forth because we were like, look, we need to make this a better deal like for both of us. And uh, um, it ended up working out. So I, I sent, I'm sent, i sending him the mod that I don't really use, but I love. Uh, I've upgraded it with solid silver contacts. They haven't come yet, but when they get here, I'll send those to him too. So I spent the money on solid silver contacts for it and everything and made the trade with him. And he's happy and I'm happy and sweet. That's how it works, man. You got good people. You make good trades. I'm now excited see, about it. Here's a question everyone wants to ask. Now that you have it, is it your favorite, most best flavored RDA you ever had? You know, I know when you spent a lot of money. When I bought the M Addy, 
it, it, it had solid flavor. I liked it. And I and the money was well spent, but it was not like the end all be all, you know? No, that's how that's how I feel currently. Yeah. Um I'm one of those people that I won't make like this is my favorite RDA ever. I won't make that decision until I've used it for a while. I put a few builds in it. Um, yeah. Do I like it off? Do it like first impression. I really like it first impression. Uh-huh. Me too. I actually vape my stuff for one year now before I review it. So a full year before I post. <laughs> <laughs> I've almost. I almost have my mind made up on the Omega. Almost. I'm going to have to start like, in the Facebook this group close. called Vintage Vintage Vapes Facebook Group. Just for power base, because at my time power reviews it, it's gonna be vintage. Dude, when I review this thing, like I've had this for I don't know, probably six months, I think. Yeah. Brand new. Over that, man. Shoot, that was last winter. But did we ever decide if this is one gen or own a own a gen? Own a gen. It looks like one gen, but it sounds like too simple of a name. Own a gen, one gen. <laughs> I don't still have the mod to trade, you guys. It's it's FCs. I'm shipping it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, dude, that's I was gonna tell you that's Sorry, a, that was a that that's how a boss does pressure right there. FC earlier, uh, this is how you lean on somebody uh, really hard in a OG fashion right here. He posted, uh, "Pumped to get the checkmate when Stan finally gets to completing the trade." <laughs> That is how you lean. Hey, on I have a one hundred percent perfect oh. approval rate when it comes to trading and 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 uh, what's it called vouches and etc. So I promise you it'll get to you. I promise you, and I will send it first thing in the morning. Uh, I'm only FC I'm only a couple days you, behind. Um, if FC ever tells you two weeks, it means that it's never gonna happen. If you ever ask him for anything, he's like, oh yeah, hashtag two weeks. It's it just means no, like <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Hashtag two weeks. That's a, that's a YouTuber. Everything is two weeks. Yes, everything is two weeks. We were talking about um, a strange airflow, and you're just about you're holding up exactly what I was going to ask you about. I was going to ask you about that. The Nord. Yeah. Everybody's curious about this thing. Yep. The strange reborn airflow. by uh, that, Core Design. Damn it! Focus, you. I'm not curious about it, but uh, that's I'll, because I'll you don't it. even like you're just here for fun now. You don't even hang yeah. anymore. I've always been here for fun. I love you guys. It won't show. I don't know why it's not focusing. I want it to focus. There it goes. All right. So it's got the two holes in the middle, which are like even with the deck. And then it's got three mm-hmm. holes on both sides. It's dual sided. No, it's not. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's dual sided. That was right. Um, it's dual sided. There's three holes on top that go across that don't even touch the coil, honestly. They have to go into nothing. They go above. Oh, damn it. Focus, Mike Bates. We need Steve. Anyway, I oh, can show you. You know what? Show? Here, screw it. I'll do this. Just don't make fun of my. Uh, don't make fun of my dirty desk, okay? That's some crazy airflow. My desk Look, you is got dirty. One on that side, one on that side. Then you got lower and lower. But that's how you make a single-sided airflow. And then you, it's a 22 millimeter, but then you make a 25 millimeter cap that's got the added top right there that you can turn on and off just to slightly take off that tension of the one side. Works pretty good, dude. Just saying. Oh, God. Look my how old the battery is. My cameras hate my face. Oh, there it is. There it is. There, oh, yeah, but it won't focus when I turn it. Yeah, see? Okay, it look. Focused. See the three holes coming across the top? They don't even go like, yeah. they don't even really go across the coil. That's and if you're the, trying to dial down the flavor. The if you two want holes to come down, you open those up. Yeah, the two holes come through the block and and actually hit, and then mm-hmm. you take this off. Um, that looks like the flavor right there. That so looks totally like I the actually have removed these, but it's just way too whistly. Um, with oh, so those are inserts. They are inserts. Wow. Look, look at the top of that compared to this. Oh, the top part. Take that. Well, take dude, that. how many how many RDAs are out high? Yeah. No, no I, I was just I was just I was just saying like it, it's very noticeably like if you hold it up where it actually focuses. There's only so many ways to make a single coil deck nowadays. But it, it doesn't remind you of the flavor. I and mean, this is actually the Evo, but the actual flavor was closer to that. Yeah, I mean it's it's. I got that deck. It's a typical design. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a nice design. I like that design. It was actually a positive stand. It wasn't being negative. <laughs> It was a positive. Deal. You see these tiny little holes, man? 
if it'll focus. There we go. That's These tiny little said. holes provide way more air than I thought they were going to. I thought this thing was going to be stupid restrictive. Um, and it ended up it ended up not being the most restricted thing I've ever used. I mean, I actually am really enjoying it wide open. Those holes on top. Those holes on top actually don't mute the flavor like I thought they would. That's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Every other Addy I've ever used with, with air going to a chamber to, without hitting the coil, it always jacks up the flavor. Yeah, that's like this my favorite one ever, the UDG 25, this well, dual coil. See how it's bottom airflow, but it has those two at the top. Right. Sometimes I'll crack just barely one of those if I want a little bit more of an airy draw, but it, I can always tell the flavor like immediately. Like the, the second I crack like this and not use the bottom. Well, it does, it does, it does take some flavor out of it when you open them up, but it doesn't do it enough to where it bothers me. Like if I want to use them, um, if you close but them you down, it's I definitely think... more, it's definitely super restricted and way more flavorful, like hot, um, as well. I like how it's built. Like, I, I don't know, for some reason I like RDTAs. It's weird. I, I feel weird saying that, but I really do like RDTAs. Dude, I don't think I've had a... I've had like one mainstream RDA that I enjoyed, RDTA that I enjoyed, but I've been loving RDTAs out of this side of the the spectrum. Um, Both of these, man, the the flavor and the I, the the flavor I don't like as much as the RDA, but I still like it a lot. But the Mav T I actually like more than the the Mav. I got RDA. mine set up on the sap burn right now, but I'm not vaping it right now. What is, oh, is that the Mav T? That's the same mod too that he was using. Yeah, it's the Mav T. That's sick. Yeah, dude. I like that. That's a nice setup right there. Anyway, it's Ooh, good to see dirty kind of the neck tube, there. neck tube huh. in your hand, dude. All right, far out. <laughs> um, very cool. Well, uh, we have a couple things we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a new company that Louis has been interested in called Tech Division. So we're gonna get into that. We also wanted to talk a little bit about the complexity and the strangeness of the BF99 coming out from No Name. Uh, we also wanted to talk a little bit about the Lay Turbo as well. So where you want to go, Louis, first? Let's talk about the Tech Division stuff real quick. They're not new. They've been out for years, 2012, okay. I think. But yeah, we can talk about that real quick. I, I sent you some pictures. So we can yeah, I didn't know up. about them until you started talking about them. So yeah, talk. So, um, Tech Division has some new gear coming out. Um, you know, there's there, it, it's in line, but Tech Division's been making side by side mods since they began. So they're like one of the original side by side people. Um, their new their new stuff that's coming out. They have mods from like little 18350s with DNA 25s in them, all the way up to 18650s with DNA 75s in them, um, and everything in between. Die codes, BF 60s, DNA 60s. I just find their designs are really smart. Um, you know, with the one with DNA 75, you can get different colored anodized space plates for it, like purple, black, stainless, whatever. Um, the the 3D print filament they're using is PA12, so you don't got to worry about the, uh, you know, dye wearing off like some 3D printed mods end up doing. You end up getting that worn and torn look. This PA12, is that what you said? Yeah, it's PA12. Yeah, that stuff's good. Yeah, it's really good, and and the pricing's great too. Um, I think the most expensive one they have is the uh, the DNA seventy five C version. That's two hundred twenty five. All right, so I'll, that's the purple one you sent me. Yeah, that's the purple one. All right, so let me show this off real quick for you guys. Um, oh, let me not show you every picture in my messenger. Hold on. <laughs> you don't need to see every picture that comes through my messenger. Okay. So. Bam. All right. So we have, let me, let me open this up a little bit. This is the, um, this is the side by side DNA 75 C he was talking about. Um, I, I like it. I don't know how I feel. It kind of reminds me of brass knuckles or something. Like, I don't know how I feel about the holes. It is cool looking though. Um, oh, yeah. what kind of stuff is this priced at? Uh, the most expensive one the DNA 75 C is uh, like 225. The rest of them are on all under 200. That's really not even bad for a custom made DNA 75C. Yeah. Um, and then here's, oh, dude, I like the one with the stainless plate. 
Yes. That one's cool. Yep. And they have uh, they actually have a little squonk attachment too. So you know how remember that Cthulhu squonk attachment they had where you yeah. could screw it up? You can do that with their mods and turn your little side by side into a squonker and it actually I actually think that would make more sense great. on a mod like this, like a side by side yes, mod exactly. like this. Exactly. I was just gonna bring that up. It makes a lot more sense to have that attachment on a side by side. That way you don't have this ginormous RDA looking thing because of the squonk attachment. The side by side is gonna make everything look nice and nice and level. Let me ask that's you, bro. What do you know about this Minion V3? That's the uh, the the picture you showed with the three. Yeah. The three, the three of them together. The Minion V3 is the taller one. That's yeah. What do you like? V3. Well, they're all Minion. There's the Minion V3 Ultimate, the Minion V3 Ultimate yep. die codes, and then the Minion V3 Compact. What is what is this like? I like this. This is cool. It yeah, reminds dude, me uh, of my. Uh, were like they were like a polished aluminum. Reminds me of this. Exactly. Yeah. The newer versions of the Minion V3 are all that PA12 filament. Um, okay. The, the, with the die codes BF60, the DNA60, and the little tiny 18350. I think it's really cool they're using the DNA25 for that. Yeah. So, yeah, like the Mac, no one uses that board. Everyone either uses the DNA Go board or they'll shove a DNA60 into it and, and just, you know, have an 18350. Whatever happened to all the DNA40s? They still make the DNA40, actually. You don't ever people. see it anymore. Yeah, you don't see it anymore, but... uh. Because they, they got newer boards out. The DNA 60 pretty much overtook that because they make a DNA 60 big screen and a DNA 60 small screen. So right. people just go for that. But yeah, man, I, I really love the design of the, the Minion V3. That's the one I personally <laughs> would want to go for is the Minion V3. Alex McKenzie nice said button. banana. Banana. And if you look on the tiny Minion, the 18350 Minion, where the fire button is, it's like, uh, remember when we had Mark Todd on, he had that uh, Zeta, the reach around fire yeah. button? That's reach around, that. dude. Yeah, nice. a little reach around action. Yeah. So yeah, that's just Shout out to Mark cool. Todd for bringing the reach around to high-end vaping. He's the king of the reach around, I suppose. That's their favorite move where he's from. Yeah, dude. that's right here. Oh. But yeah, that's just a little expose on a, on a nice quality high-end product um tech tech uh, god tech division tech division yes well since we're talking about um about new stuff coming out like i really i think out of all those that we showed i think i would probably go for the um the minion yeah i like the minion a lot uh i i really like the idea this is an awesome little compact setup this is the favorite. uh what is the insider mm -hmm. okay and it's made by undercode so the undercode insider i really like it because when you put a tank on it that's not too much taller than the battery cap this is like the whole setup man like it's a real yeah. small compact thing that 18350 one would be kind of pretty freaking cool in my opinion however how how small does it get to where it becomes kind of a pain to use you know too small yeah i think that 18351 the total height of it up to the top of the battery tube is uh i think he said 50 millimeters so it's not too small where it's 50 millimeters lost. is two inches yeah so it's not gonna be lost hmm. in your in your hand but it's just big enough where it'd be like you know the size of your palm you can get a nice um vape out of it and you don't have to suck your thumb as you're vaping it either so two inches that's about the size well pal you got something to compare two inches don't you like you could you can kind of show us what <laughs> only only if i have a fluffer to prepare me otherwise, <laughs> otherwise it's more like an inch unless you mean like in you know if this is a foot then yeah all right i got you. Uh, gosh darn it <laughs> no, right now I'm talking to uh, Nick Squonkerton. He's telling me the best way to build the uh, Secro since mine's stuck in the post office. Um, sorry. Uh, hey, uh, I'm dealing with website issues real quick. Uh, I Mike apologize, Louis. Louis. Will you lead us into the BF99 stuff, and then I'll talk I about it when I can. Mike, yeah, Louis, yeah. you're going to want to hit up Louis on that one. He's talking about that Secro group. What's going on with the Secro group? uh to add because louis you added me once i had my serial number uh mike in la is he, he wants to oh yeah once you once you get into the group or once you actually get your your, your uh your secret pal just 
take a picture of the serial number and send it to me and I can send it to Simon. You're already in the group. Yeah, and that's what I thought I was already in that. Yeah, you're the in the group. group. He just wants to see, you know, he wants your uh, your serial number that way because he wants to keep track of all the uh, owners. So that's all uh, Mike and LA would have to do then? If he has a secret, yeah, he would just yeah. have to PM Simon or uh, Darius or um, Nabib, one of the admins. PM him, PM him the picture of the serial number and, and today's date being you know, like written on a piece of paper and he'll be able to get into the group without a vouch. All right, Mike, let us know if that's a good copy, if you got that. Otherwise, if not, then one of us will actually just add you. But if you PM Simon with your serial number, he'll add you right straight away. Right. And here's the here's the measurements for the compact um, tech division, 18 through 50, 53 millimeters high. Length okay, so that's that's like two inches tall by an inch and three quarters long by what was the last one? 24 one inch millimeters. wide. So it can it can fit a pretty nice size atomizer, so 24 millimeters wide. Yeah. Um, man bug 44. Uh, I I have the guy checking on it. If it should be working, a lot of people have used it already. The code on the site. Um, then uh, yeah, the code's working. So if you're having an issue using the codes on lucidrda.com, just control, uh, hold control and hit F5 to hard refresh your system uh your your website and it should everything should work fine that gets rid of your cache and everything uh on your internet site so try that let me know uh by the way for y'all who don't know lucidartia.com just started uh if you're in the u.s just started a killer sale 40 percent off almost everything that i've designed with code black october and um code get it now is 25 percent off all the other hardware on the site so they, I, I'm liquidating a bunch of stuff because I've got way too much money tied up in stock. I've got a ton of stock. So, Get yeah, check that out. I added white Dreamer stacks and I added black notions. Black notions. If you haven't seen the black notion, the black notion is dope. Damn. Nice. Um, but anyway, back to the high-end stuff. So, we, we wanted to talk a little bit about this thing because it's so dang funky, man. And I had to have it when I saw it. I hit up our partner, Stratum. Uh, straight up store. I hit up Vitaly and I said, yo, Vitaly, can you find one of these? And he said, I'm on it. And, uh, he said he had a hell of a time finding one. He found one for me. I paid him and I took it. Um, actually, did I pay him? I need uh -oh. to pay him. <laughs> I think I need to pay him. Sorry, Vitaly. That Sorry, was not Vitaly. on purpose. Um, so yeah, this thing. All right. Here's the deal. I couldn't wait. All right. It has little peak insulators in the wick holes so there's a peak insulator in each wicking hole and i'm mm -hmm. assuming that's for mesh wicking so yeah. roll some mesh and put it down in there well i couldn't wait and i put cotton in it just like stuck the cotton down like a normal rdta and i gotta tell you um the design of this thing is really cool the vape i get on it when it's wicked really good uh is not bad uh, it's it's pretty decent actually but I have a feeling this thing is going to be way better and shine when I actually get some uh, mesh wicking in it. Uh, yeah, because if you look at it, there's no pressure hole on the deck anywhere. And that that's your first inclination that it's meant to be used with mesh. Because right. mesh it breathes, you know, the wick hole becomes your pressure hole because mesh is, mesh is porous. It breathes easier than cotton does. Cotton will just seal it up and you won't get any negative pressure going on the tank, which won't feed your wicks. Um, a lot of people have been doing this. They've been making little mesh tubes, cutting them about, I forgot what the exact measurement is, but you cut, I think, between 12 and or 17 millimeters. You basically want the mesh to get to the top of your deck, and then you just whip your coil up with some cotton, lay the cotton on top of the mesh, and it wicks like like crazy. It wicks, just be surprised how fast it wicks. Well, and the best thing about using those mesh tubes is you don't really need to oxidize it. Just burn the mesh off at the porch just to get off any oils or whatever. Roll it up, and, and you're, you're good to go. I'm ripping people off. Shut up. <laughs> I pay everybody. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, our, our, our I, f I forgot. I got sidetracked. Stratum Store, you can get free shipping from our partner, Stratum Store, in the U.S. with code the VF. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, yeah, dude, it, it's, it's really, it's really interesting because the top here is 
screw here and screw there, right? So this black insert, which you can see it has right here, you can see my pinky go in there. It's it's these cave like indentions on both sides. And what that is, is that is making the top cap you see in there, it's kind of like Hellfire or something. It's really oh, yeah. small really chamber. But and they sell a, a, a bigger chamber, don't they? Yeah, that's what I was gonna show you. It came with came with I got it with another chamber and you can see how the, the, the little con the little indentions are smaller. So there's more space in there. You can see how much bigger it is. Um, it came with a smaller drip tip a smaller drip tip hole there. So if you want a smaller five ten, I have the larger one in right now. Okay. Um, you'll be able to see it. Um, and then it came with three different anodized air inserts, which you're also not going to be able to see. But it came with three different anodized air inserts and a really kick-ass little tool for all of it because it doesn't. It's all star star I love head screws. That tool and it that that one tool fits every screw on that whole RDA. It fits everything, yeah, that's, including that's the squawk awesome. pin. I love when when mod makers do that. They make one size screw heads for everything. You yeah. don't have to search for different Allen heads or hex heads or whatever. It's, it's awesome when they do that. They also. If you go out to their their group, they have um, they're releasing a bunch of new air inserts. So I'm really I'm really wanting to pick up this BF99. They have one insert that's coming out with uh, I think it's uh three 1.2 <clears throat> millimeter air holes. So it's three 1.2 millimeter hole air holes and just one air insert. So that one's gonna be pretty airy. Um, 1.2. That's the blue one, right? No, th th these are air, air inserts that aren't included in the package. They're making I have more. I have three. I have a gold, a red, and a blue. Um, the oh, yeah, but you might you might have it then. You might. I have don't it. know. Like I think they may have sent him the accessories, and he just sent them to me. Oh, okay, um, that might be it then. Because I have I have the blue air insert that has three holes, which is the one I'm using. Um, the red one down here in the box has two holes and the gold one has one hole yeah so uh, you if you have the one with three then that that's one of the newer air inserts i will tell you this though i have been uh, i've been liking like how it how i like the airflow i like how it looks i like how it's designed um i'm not 100 percent enjoying the vape yet and i think that's because i don't have the wicking right so mm -hmm. i'm gonna get the mesh wicking and i'll let you guys know again on the next show but i will tell you this oil <laughs> freaking oh, machine yeah. oil bro it took four hardcore washes to get the oil out of this thing do you use the dish soap and toothbrush or I, I i dish soaked the hell out of it um yeah i used q-tips and everything hot water and uh, a ultrasonic cleaner and yeah it took it took a minute um but i'm very happy to report that everything's cool now and I'm not complaining about it too much because of how hard Vitaly had to work to grab it for me. So Yeah, see, I had the BF99, I think the V2 came out like four years ago. That one, when you when you get an RDA and you're excited and you build it up and you wick it up and you just give it a quick wash and you hit you hit it and you're like, what is that? What's that what's that taste? Yeah. Well see, I couldn't tell I couldn't tell if it was the anodizing heating up on the insert that the coil was mm -hmm. right over it like the dye on the anodizing yeah um but it seems fine it doesn't seem like it got hot or anything uh and i'm pretty sure that, that it was i've had machine oil flavor before i'm pretty sure that's what it was so yeah um, it, it's the machine oil anodizing is pretty tough i mean yeah no name sadly that's one of no names things they don't really clean their products after machining it i've, I've had three no name addies and every single one of them i've had to uh a nice little dawn dish soap bath too out of uh, all the new addies that i showed you guys the two that i'm enjoying the most right now are the core reborn and the alco um so yeah that's what i'm enjoying the most right now yeah I i'm excited to hear what you think about the integra oh yeah dude i'm excited to, to play with the integra but i told myself that i'm not going to even touch it until i make sure the fc's boxes shipped tomorrow 
So. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Coil, Coil Probe said, clean your shit, Stan. I did clean my stuff. I always clean my stuff. Um, Have you seen Tegger right? Hmm. I'm stoked for the okay. I'm stoked for the for the the sick row because Pinkerton oh. has picked. Okay, at one point in time, his favorite was the Haku, and I got the Haku, and it's still one of my favorite. And then when the Hussar V1 came out, that bumped the Haku off, and that went on my list. And he's saying that that this is one of those RDAs. It's like a fucking Dude, game changer. Yes, it is. That's well, why here's I have a the one coming. I thought you uh, weren't you supposed to have one, pal. Yeah, so it turns out my HOA, they're like Nazis. <laughs> I, I got the text message that it showed up in the parcel was in my box or whatever. And it was like four days, four or five days. And I went and got my mail and it was like everything was gone. Like they took all my mail out and put it to the post office. So I have to go tomorrow. But yeah, like you were saying, like it, I agree. It, it's a game changer. Like it's hard to break into my, my top atomizers because I, I find something I like and I just – I'll buy a bunch of them and I'll use the hell out of just those. I'll still buy RDAs and, and Addies just to play around with and I'll keep them on my shelf or I'll pass them along. But I only have a certain group of things I use daily. Louis, Pink, Pinkerton, one, just, Pink, Pinkerton just said, I hated the Integra. The dwarf MTL shits on the Integra. Hell no. Oh, hell no. oh fight, fight. Fight. Yeah, fight, 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 fight. No, these versus these are my two favorites. Ten, go. I, I mean, I like the Dwarven why, why MCL, it, and I can wrong? see, I can see why people like it. Um, I, I love it. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it. I just, it, it sits on my shelf, and I have it built, wick, ready to go. I just don't grab it. I think once I get, I don't know, a, a liquid that I find works really good in it, then I'll like it more. Okay, I, Nick, I feel like Louis just said, you don't even vape, bro. Like, that's what he said, basically. Hey. That was a translation. He was like, my you don't dwarf, even know anything about vaping. Dwarf, I don't use my Dwarf DL. Let's get Nick on here. My MTL, Nick my little 16, Louis. stays on the bike. I just, I didn't. I will I say this, though. With the Integra, a big one. It I'm is very, high. it's not build dependent. It's very width dependent. I mean, there is a there is a specific way you have to build this thing, or it's going to give you a nightmare. You'll get there is a way you can build it, and you'll get a decent vape out of it. But there's a way I build it; it it just sings. I have a picture of it up in the. Coil probably the, said the Integra is smoother than Pal's butt, dude. That ain't saying it's very smooth. I'm just saying. Dude, my <laughs> ass is so yeah, smooth. Like I've never seen the sunlight. It's like baby soft, dude. It's like white. All right, so, so um, you guys are giving me absolute yeah. anxiety because I can't find my secro. I used it last. I used it this week, and I'm just about to bring that up, dude. Where's your secro at? I don't know where it is. Like I looked for it before the show. I used it on Wednesday, I think, and it's gone. I hope I didn't leave it somewhere at work or something. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm having anxiety. I'm gonna have to tear my room apart to find it now. Uh, but anyway, the Secro is, I like it a lot. Um, some people have said that they're, I, I saw a post on the high invade form on Facebook link is in the description. If you want to check out that group or the discord, um, the, some people said that the Secro or somebody said that the Secro, they weren't quite, they didn't quite understand all of the hubbub about it. And you know what? There's nothing super special about it. It's an, uh, They were saying it's an old post deck design. I get it. That's that's fine. Um, but it can be kind of a, a pain to build on. But once you get it, it's super easy like to, re, to, to do over and over again. So that's fine with me. Uh, first couple times you build it, you kind of have a mess with it a little bit. And that's understandable. But the vape on it, I am in love with the vape on the Super. Mm -hmm. I'm yes. in love with the vape on a sick row. Um, yes. Absolutely. One of those atomizers when you build it and you build it right and you take the first, you're like, damn, you know, this is this is good. I it's, think it just comes down to that reduced chamber and, and the amount of airflow that's going into that reduced chamber. For the way people vape, most of the people vape today, I think that's just a win-win a with the, the way they design the whole inner chamber. The deck it, is pretty basic. The, the way the, the squonk feeds into the atomizer, that's pretty smart how it goes on the both sides. 
it's really versatile too with all the new inserts he's got coming out. He's got more stuff coming there's out. There's more too. inserts for it. Yeah, there's an MTL insert. There's a um. Hey, wait, 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 they did a they list. Did a list. Yeah, for, well, Louis, you it? are slacking. You're supposed to be the man that keeps us in the it loop. Was in the fuck boy. Oh, it was in the <laughs> FK the fuck boy boy chat group. You said it, Louis. FC actually turned shout out to Chuck and Babes and some come in. What up, Chuck and Matt Clark and House. And FC um, that... FC told me about the list. It wasn't everything. It was just all right. Is it still cap. running? Uh, it's 24 hours. Oh, so yeah, it's still be up. All right, if I get off of here and it's still running, I want the bigger air airflow. Show and tell Yeah, I think I think they have that one and the MTL insert. Okay. Um, people are giving me a hard time about not knowing where my secro is. And uh, OR Church said the puppy has a new chew toy. He better – Louie! I have a question. Is it is OR Louis, so. Church or is it OR Church? Because I heard I, – people say OR Church and OR Church. And this is something I've wondered for probably the last two years – and I've never asked him, is it OR Church or do we say OR Church? Just a question. Deep thoughts by Pal. Okay, keep going. Sorry. Um. Also. Oh, hey. Uh, also, sorry, I was reading the chat. I apologize. I hate it when I do that and just make. That's it cool, fine. dude. I've been in chat reading. Um, Tom, lots of people show and tell. Truck and vapes did come in. So, and truck and vapes is out for there. Don't know. Keep trucking. Keep trucking, trucking. Truckin'. For y'all that don't Mother know, trucker. Truckin' Vapes is uh, reaching out into the high-end vape oh, community. He just made a purchase. Bougie. Just made a purchase for a, uh, or I think he did if he paid for it. Uh, he made a purchase for the tripod RTA. Oh, so, so hopefully he's enjoying. So hopefully he will enjoy that. Um, I'll ship it next month. <laughs> <laughs> Trucking. I hope you realize once you cross over to the world of high end, you have to start driving a uh, high end semi truck. So you have to get like Vol Volvos, no Volvos, dude, like a Volvo. Oh, oh the, the top yeah. echelon. Okay. Yes, yes. I better see you driving something German or something like that shortly. Yeah, that uh, German's expensive. <laughs> Truck um, is gonna be coming live from his truck, and it's gonna be like nicer than most people's condos, <laughs> right? So, also, we wanted to talk. We talked about Tech Division. We talked about the BF99 a little bit, and I'm sure you guys will get updates on that stuff as we use it more. Um, you'll probably see pictures and things. Uh, next on the list was Sasha. Where the hell is this RTA? It's O R, by the way, as in Otis Randall. So everybody from now on, don't say or church. It's O R church. Point of clarification. I always say O R church. Okay, I was just making sure. Don't you talk to me that way? Okay, don't you? <laughs> don't you this aggression will not stand. <laughs> the aggression will not stand. I don't think that that's the proper nomenclature, dude. That's um, just like your opinion, man. Okay. <laughs> you're such an avid golfer. I don't. I guess you're not an avid golfer. Um, Sasha of Vanderbilt. Nice. I know you're gonna see this. Where's the RTA, bro? Where is it? You've made it this big hubbub, and you're changing it and perfecting it and all this junk, and and then you put up a post saying, "Hey, man, we're on here. We're finished up. Yeah, sweet." And then complete dead silence. Yeah, come on, Sasha. What I the heck? Like Mark Todd did something to sabotage it. I'm gonna say that. Probably, probably. Okay. Um, delay turbo. Have you got, dude? You know what? I think that I don't think that Pal has actually seen the Le Turbo. Le Turbo. I say Le Turbo. Le Turbo. Le Turbo. Le Turbo. Le Turbo. Le Turbo. From where I come from, it's the Le Turbo. Get your shit together, son. Y'all got any of them Le Turbos over there? I need me one of them Le Turbo rebuildable dripping atomizers. Wait, is it a dripper or is it a tank? Um, I reckon it's a tank, but you never know. <laughs> One of them there, uh, John I got some pictures of the Lay Turbo, uh, but this thing is cool, man. So the way it works is it's by um, Vapenot, okay, and it's got that classic styling that they that the, everything is like super either brushed or blasted, um, really clean stainless steel look. Uh, it's what it's, kind of stainless steel? I don't know. 316, 304. 304. 316. 316. Oh, wow. It's much harder to cut. Okay. Impressive. So More it's expensive. a super clean looking RDA. I'll show you guys pictures in just a second. But the way it works is, is it's got the, it's got, um, you put the, you put the coil, excuse my, excuse my stuttering. You put the coil in 
horizontally, okay, with a lead up and a lead down. Mm-hmm. All right. And so it goes on the side of the tank. And what happens is, is, is you can actually turn the top and bottom leads apart from each other to accommodate a larger or smaller coil. And the airflow comes into the, uh, uh, comes into the, no, I'm sorry. The airflow goes, where's the airflow comes in from the side, yeah, hits the coil, the goes into the chamber right behind the coil and then up and you put the wicks around it. So I'll show you, I'll show you a picture right now. And when you drip into it, it, it you drip down the mouthpiece and it runs right out behind right. your coil. Right. Cool. So let me do this. Here we go. So this is a picture of the insides. Let me show you the, the actual RDA first. So this is the RDA itself, okay? I know some people are like, oh, Ultim or whatever, but I love this this two-tone Ultim uh, blasted stainless kind of look. I love it. Um, I think it looks really sexy. And if you go to the actual deck here, you can see it's upside down, but this is the... Uh, this is the positive post. It's insulated, okay? So this is the positive post here, and this is the negative post that's on the deck. And you run your coil across here. Well, if you loosen the positive post, you can rotate it. Uh, if you loosen the 510 pin, you can rotate the positive post over. So you, if you have a, uh, a larger coil, you can run a bigger coil in here. But you have one, two, three, four, five, so six six or eight different um settings in airflow right here and it's single-sided of course like a lot of these rda rdas are now but this thing is really intriguing to me and i know louis doesn't really like the look of it but what are your thoughts on this rda louis if uh if they would bring out like a a, a pmma or pc 1000 tank for it i'd be in love or that polished all them i like that clear ESG polished often look. The the bead blasted is okay. Do you like polished but, Ultim with the brushed though? It's got that brush or I'm sorry, that blasted stainless. Like I don't really like polished yeah. Ultim with blast blasted stainless. That's the thing though. But here I love the design though. It, it's a sexy looking RDA. And it's weird. I want to call it an RDTA. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh that's an I RDTA. Too. Like when I first saw the video for it from Phileas Cloud, I'm like, that's an RDA. That's not even don't even have a tank don't even have a juice well really it it the, the amount of design and thought that went into that that addy really really took me by surprise they had to think about a lot of things for that thing the way you you put the, the leads in north and south how the the airflow comes up that little chimney and that's the same path your liquid goes if you're dripping it you wrap the, the your cotton around that post and it ends up being behind the po- it's crazy and the way the airflow works is really smart too. I uh, I actually got on a group buy um, with Squonk America, which is a cool group for you guys if you if you want to check out Squonk America. Um, <clears throat> they do lots and lots of group buys. I think they got twenty five of them, and I jumped on it because you guys know me and funky designs. I'm even if it turns out being bad, I really want to get my hands on it just because of how innovative it is uh so i'm curious about this design i'm really curious about how well it functions i'm really curious about the actual um building of it so i'm pretty stoked on it i think it looks sexy as hell uh, i like how they did the blasted ultim with the blasted stainless um and i'm one of those people i know some people don't like blasted but i'm one of those people that likes it a lot that's one of my favorite things about like this it. melody mod here is i really like the the blasted yeah. um yeah the, the blasted or coated or whatever this is against the black um looks, i usually like always pass on polished i will always get most of the time if i can i will get um brushed or blasted and this thing's cool the reborn's cool because it's it's both <laughs> it's blasted um, and it's brushed so yeah, which is kind of cool because it matches pretty much any stainless thing i put it on depending on like, yeah. whatever the finish is um, i have a meccano uh, mech tube that's half brushed half um blasted and i'd love to get that reborn for that mech tube 
then that's the only thing that would stay on it. <laughs> Man, you'd have to build pretty high though, uh, which I think is fine with you. Like you build pretty high anyway. Um, just make sure you build pretty Always high build because high. on Always. a mech you wouldn't want it to get up. too hot too fast. There's not a ton yeah, of airflow I, in this thing. I would probably with, with with the reborn, I would probably get one of the tightest airflows I could get for. I probably would just run the bottom too, put like a point nine like a little Clapton in there or maybe just some 27 gauge throw it on my mech tube and it'd be it would, it would be sick. peace out sick boy sick boy's dipping out bye sick boy peace, sick boy, sick boy. um yeah, okay and there's only 1500 of those lead turbos being made so if you want to pick one up i'd do it fast yeah well that's one thing about vape not right mm -hmm. they always put a limit on everything they put out like uh, they put them out and they're done um but in this in this reborn right now, I'm rocking a 0.7 at 46 watts, and uh, the airflow is fine for it. Yeah, I'm really excited about the lay turbo. It's been a minute I'm since excited. I was excited about an Addy, like really excited about an Addy that came out that I saw that I was like, "Ooh, I gotta get that." Um, I felt that way about the BF99 because I just love the look of it. I love the design, oh, the way they did it. And then also I feel that way about the late turbo. So hopefully that is all vindicated. Um, so we've been having a side chat about the same company and the uh, La Concorde. And I remember that was a really expensive uh, single coil. And it, I didn't end up buying it because I knew enough people that bought it that didn't really like it. Like it was. See, that, was that was. Did either one of you guys get that? I slept on it. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, but I had a lot of my friends bought it and and they loved it and then some of them didn't it's just one of them addies that that either loved or hated it coil probe said uh my name said pal 702 the concord was similar airflow to the hussar which i like the hussar i mean i remember it i thought it had like the tr triple set airflow no it had three on one side and then one tiny air hole on the other side what's well, wasn't it crazy expensive like 200 plus like it was something like i remember it had, it, at the time it was a big ticket i can't remember like two the years price ago. it came out in like 2017 yeah, yeah. most of vaponaut stuff stays high priced even on the uh, yeah. buy sell trades um what is uh, I mean, for 200 bucks for a single coil rda for 200 it better like it better do something like the the one forty fifty, like I can't talk. I like can't. the one forty to one fifty to one seventy shipped range is like that's the normal. But when my, my mantra for for Addy price is the price is the price is the price. That that's just. But I'm talking about just like single coil RDA, not not no glass, no tank, no anything. Just yeah, like an RDA, bro. Like, what about like, like I can't talk. Below. I've got so many that I spent more than that on because I'm a dummy. I'm not it's talking about. Like, caps included i'm just talking about say if you bought the base whatever a hundred like okay shipped to you it's usually 170 bucks that's kind of like the going rate for a high end like you're, you're typically under 200 the ones that go over 200 i expect a little like definitely yeah okay i see what you're girl. saying because a lot of the a lot of tanks are you the tanks i usually expect to be in the 200 plus range yeah. Yes. And yeah. Uh, yeah. RDAs, RDAs are like 170, right like 170, like shipped, like 170. Yeah, you're about. I think you're right. I think you're right on money. Yeah. So if it's over 200 to me, a, a single coil RDA, then it should be something that slaps me in the face. Like it should like, be <clears throat> sky skyfall level. Or right. like, um, or like really beautiful machining material and presentation, you know, yeah. and then it's just yeah. subjective. You said 200, what... and I looked down at this Alco, like, uh. <laughs> See, that's what happened with Vape and Arts Concord is they released the Concord of 22 millimeter machine beautifully. Then a year later, they released the 24 millimeter Concord. I can't, I can't remember if that was the lead, the lead Concord or something. But Quill it, Probe said 20 supersonic 24 millimeter Concord. Yeah. The okay. first batch of those of those 24 millimeter Concords were jacked up. The machine was, was horrendous on it. And Vape and Art took a big slap in the face from that. Vape and, and Art or Vape and Art? Alex McKenzie also added that there was a very small batch of those Concords made. That's why they're expensive. What was and the other? Fictitious topped it off with the subject. He said the Aco RRP base price is three hundred and forty-five dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a what is the most expensive RDA or RDA that you guys own? What is it? Put it in chat. Like, what's the most you've spent on an RDA, not including caps? Well, if you is bought it all as a package, price? is that market price or or RRP? That's 
Or no, no, fictitious said it's RRP 345. No, I'm saying the question you're asking chat to answer. Do you want them to be, is, do you want it to be RRP or market price? No, just whatever you paid. Like, because oh. I, I paid out my ass for my Skyfall with the DLC and all those inserts and shit. Um, Robert Reagan said, Robert Reagan said, regardless of how good the Sucro is, it's grossly overpriced in his opinion. And that's, I understand that. That's yeah, fine. I opinion. bought mine used. Um, second hand so like i i'm always looking for a better Would deal you pay for your stand i don't remember i paid 200 for mine i bought Wait, mine is that right? a good deal see I, I get why it's so expensive because he's not doing the machining himself oh, he's no. sending it out and he has another mod maker building it for him so he's using their machines their time from from building their own stuff so he's got to pay an outside person to build it for him that that's why i think the the price is so Five. high paying for the machining cost robert riggins says the s91 genesis by 415 mods dude 415 no, mods makes kick ass stuff have you seen their new mod With coming no out four and five? they have 10 they have they're making 10 stab wood mods they're gorgeous 10 10 of them yeah. i won't be able to afford it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Keith Moore came in with the hundred bucks for the armor 2.0 and 90 bucks for the gen. Both fucking awesome RDAs. Yeah. Both awesome RDAs. The armor yeah. 2.0 is awesome. I wish there was more dual coil uh RDAs out there in the high end realm. Me too. Me too. Be like a, there's, there's a very more. Few. That's why like I, think course, I always design. have this on something because it's 24, this Evo. It's one of the only, you know, in higher I don't know if like Alliance Tech, I guess it's high end, but I mean, it's one of the only like nicer 24 singles that I have. Yeah. There's not the cold design, I think, was the last real hyped up dual coil um, RDA. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Core Design made one. It's on Stratum, Stratum store. So, is that yeah. Armor 1.0? Like, yeah. that dual coil. They I still have them in stock, too. That thing's always Wasn't there the one stock. from DB as well? DB. DB. Yeah, yeah. The, um, not the Royal. Um, Wait, the Royal, right? The Royal. Yeah. yeah. That one, my, the new that one, one is the Regal. Royal. Yeah, the Regal single. Yeah, the Royal was a dual coil. Yeah. But that was that was a pretty that was a pretty pricey RDA as well. It'd be cool to yeah. just like, I don't know, some high end, like a high end trend, like bring back, you know, some dual coil twenty four, like super badass, but you know, not all labeled out, really well machined. Something I you think I think with the with the way high end is right now, that would actually probably go over pretty well because a lot of new people have gotten into it. And they're used to the they're used to the mass market with a little bit more airflow. I think if mine makers started making more dual coil RDAs, they would probably sell pretty well. It'd be a fun like it'd be a cool like trend or just something to try like crank out a hundred you know twenty four millimeter you know no, not, twenty two sure I mean, I mean, uh, twenty two twenty two I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. like, it would be cool to do twenty four mil, millimeter singles and twenty two duels. Yeah, um, Louis. The Robert said that seven hundred bucks for that four one five mod, and it has user swappable chip trays. That's kind of cool, but that's, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, a lot of that's scratch, and that's gonna be a pain in the butt to try to get one with only ten being made. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if he's only making ten or if he's doing ten for the first batch. I I, I talked to to, to Yi, and I I you know he he doesn't speak English that well, so yeah, when I got him, like he's not. He's making, Ten, and then I don't, he might I don't speak more. speak American. I don't speak that American stuff over there. American. Alex McKenzie says uh, seven hundred dollars for a genie. Fuck that. A genie. That's not me saying the F word. That's Alex McKenzie for a genie. Cole Proby so, said he paid a kidney and a testicle for a narca. <laughs> <laughs> well, I paid a so testicle all, and a I'm kidney sure for a narca. My testicles for my for my Narmad stuff. I have no Narmad stuff, so I don't have. Uh, but I do have two testicles. Last. Hey, time you I know what? I don't care what. I build work it out. I don't care what we says. I love my Naria. Like, I got Me rid too. of my narca. I I kept my Naria. I love my Naria. Sure. I would love to have a Narta, but it probably will never happen. John Q Geezer said, "Anyone tried the inserts for the Flav?" If you're looking for a Narta, Narta the you know, RDTA, no. there was one up in um, Truck and Sam. No, don't so. tell me. Don't tell me. I don't want it. I, 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 no. I, I want it. Yes. Callie was, Callie was looking for a Narba, and I found him one, but it was just priced too high for him. I, I, I do want it, but dude, I don't want to spend the money. Like, I, I told you guys, I told myself I was going to slow down and everything, and I was putting my buffet together today, and I was like, 
oh crap like what what did i like i got all of a sudden there's a core here there's the yep. bf99 here there's the alco here there's an integra and there's a new melody box i was like wait a second i didn't have all this on the last show like i told myself i was gonna slow down what the heck happened that we were talking <laughs> about that on the last show we did on swagging's channel um how i was completely content with the, with the products i had and then i got this in and that that just awoke something and i got a bug up my ass and i just that's what happens that's why I, that's why i stay off the groups man because i see something and i'm like Dude. ooh, and i start scrolling through and i see something i haven't seen before and i'm like oh snap yep. what is that and i start looking at that stuff and it just gets into yep. it and the next thing yep. i know i'm buying things and I was talking to Oleg, you know, one, one of the monitors behind this, and he had this gorgeous RTA on the top of it from Vape Monster called the Noi. I was like, what is that? He's like, <laughs> Nick Pinkerton is giving me shit. He said, to be fair, the, the Alco isn't paid for. It, damn it. Fictitious is my friend. He knows I'm not going to, I'm sending it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm telling you, Fictitious and Nick and all those guys, dude, they run in like an underground OG. Fight club vape scene, dude. And they will murk. You're they not supposed to talk about it. Dude, they will show up at your house and murk you, dude. I'm just giving you the heads up, man. You don't mess with those dudes. The last person, the last person I would ever dream of screwing would be fictitious character. And and Pinkerton. This, uh, his favorite. I, I don't know Pinkerton. Pinkerton. Okay. Uh, no, we're not friends. One of his favorite people, <laughs> Captain, Captain Spaulding from, you know, like all the Rob Zombie movies. So you got to know. There is a part three coming out very soon. Three from hell, dude. Yep, it's gonna be oh, actually hell. it was in theaters for three days here, but I had to work. But it, it's gonna stream like any day now. On All right, the, let me see. There was another thing yeah. we wanted. We talked about the Chris Turbo. Gallagher paid over four hundred for a Skyfall with the accessories and stuff, and I said yes, I agree with you. I paid like four fifty for everything new with the DLC and all the inserts and shit and Ultim caps. And I don't regret it at all. It was worth it in my opinion. We talked about the BF ninety nine. We talked about Tech Division. We gave Sasha some shit about the RTA that I still haven't seen yet. That I'm like freaking out of, not freaking out, but I really want to see it. Damn it! Excuse me. Um, and then Did we talk about Swags. Why he's not here? I, we he talked about the late Turbo. Yes. Hold on one sec. Okay. We talked about the late Turbo, and I want to take this time right now to tell uh, you guys that you guys noticed there's a lot of 5150 juice in our lineups from our um buffets earlier detox is pro it's overtaken my paramon as a juice that i absolutely love so i've got a ton of paramon and a ton of detox i just got 400 mils in the mail the other day um i'm a huge fan of it we love the juice and they are a sponsor of this show we don't love the juice because they're a sponsor of the show they're a sponsor of the show because we love the juice so Check out 5150 e-liquid. You can get uh what's the code? It's uh the VF20. The VF20. The VF20 you can get 20% off at their website if you're in the US. If you're not in the US and you want to try their juice, um email them and they will hook you up with a code for international. So um or they will take care of it for you because the code doesn't work internationally. But they'll get you a discount internationally as well if you want to try it. 5150 e-liquid. Uh so check that out. And why don't you guys throw in chat any questions you have for it's, it's pals. It's time for pal vapes to answer your questions in chat. So if you've got chat questions, anything you want, no holds bar, ask anything you want to pal, go for it. Roll them through chat. He's going to answer as many questions as he can in the next few minutes. But uh, I've been kind of doing it the whole that, time. I was typing. I was typing, answering people's questions while you guys were actually getting all technical. I was just with the people. Okay. I'm a man well, of that's the what, dude. You're you're a people person, bro. Speaking of, uh, Vapor Swags could not be here today because there is a flat earther convention near yep. him. <laughs> and fun fact, he really believes this shit, guys. So yeah. the next next Swag. show, yes, tell him the Earth is round, not flat. You know, let him. You know guys, you guys. He know actually that he's, does believe he believes this. You though. guys know he's really sensitive about this because all the people that attack him all the time about his beliefs. He will I don't get think feisty. that you should be encouraging yeah. people to give him a hard time about his flat earth beliefs. Uh, but right. it's, I, I thought he was joking at first, but he was dead ass serious. Oh no, he's, he's serious. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a serious flat earther. Yep. Yeah, for sure. I didn't um, even know what that was at, you know, until I saw something like a year ago. And then you I guess should it's ask him to, you should ask him to explain, um, explain how we got away from that belief from like back in the Columbus days when they, right? like that's, that's a whole trippy conversation to have with him. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he gets into this weird thing, and it's like all of a sudden logic and reason and science just goes out, and then and he'll start yeah. shouting and getting really upset. And Pal yeah. said, too. Do you think Stan will ship tomorrow?" That was from Nick Pinkerton, and I'm gonna go, <laughs> and, say, I'm gonna go and say yes. I'm gonna say yes if he has, I gotta if he say- has it. Okay. Do you have? Do you have it, Stan? I gotta say, I love this guy. I want it. Has it because he he's he's aware now of the. Um, I will the ship it. Look, I always take it. I may I may be slow a day or two because I got so much stuff going in and out all the time, like uh, because of the business and everything that I overlook things. But I wanted to make sure it was clean. I wanted to make sure I sent it to him like in good condition. So will it be shipped tomorrow? It will be shipped this is, first uh, thing in the morning. Night. It's packaged up. It's first next to the shipping. It's like it's downstairs. Stuff to be shipped. Witnesses. It's there. I'll send a picture to you in a little bit. I promise. Thanks. Cool. Cool. We have a couple cool questions. Question. He, he wants to know a good recommendation for build for his Narie. Ooh. And yeah, me, I I don't think it does good with low ohm builds. Anything lower than 0.5, even on a mech for me, I think it loses flavor. For me, I think the sweet spot is like 0.55 to like 0.7. And I'll run that on both mechs and regulate it at like 25 watts. And I, I love it. It's a great wave. Next question. I got double dual questions from Coil Probe and M's, uh, Heath, Heath Bar, hashtag King Size. They both said, when are MCM Mondays coming back? They're coming back soon. Okay. So this is the plan. We're going to we do go. A- we're gonna do a every vlog. week. We go through this no, plan. No, no, because the plan was always the convention, but the vlog, the the tool concerts Wednesday. So we're gonna vlog that. So we're gonna post that, and then the convention's coming up in a couple of weeks. But sometime in that range, I'm gonna start posting reviews again, and this will be the first one that I. You're gonna be so on. sidetracked at that concert. I won't say why. But <laughs> I don't <laughs> think you're gonna videotape anything. I really, well, I, no, I like, really doubt that. You might get some feet. No, I'm just going to get like, you know, the trip, like the road trip from like me and Marjorie and my older brothers coming in with us from Las Vegas to Phoenix, like through the desert and Hoover Dam and all the crazy shit we do. But once you get inside the concert, like they're very strict, like Maynard says no phones. And then he only lets you turn your phone on for one song. So I'll have one full song, like badass footage. And then after that, then we'll post that and then we'll get back into reviews. And then the expo is going to be here. And that was always kind of the, the thing. Cause I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to do them. Like I'm super stoked, but there was, there was definitely a, a moment in there, especially with all the banning shit. And there's a point in time where my heart just wasn't there And the show was always the way that I was able to talk to everybody and have fun and just enjoy the community. And now I'm ready to make some content and stuff. Cause some, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's so how do we do- hold this? How do we hold you to it? uh tell marjorie if marjorie says she will not cook marjorie you don't pay marjorie enough to be your uh, administrative assistant like if it wasn't for marjorie i'd be face down dead in a ditch (laughs) (laughs) it's a fucking fact probably said marjorie how do you deal with the plans (laughs) what's your favorite cheese from alex mckenzie my favorite cheese would have to be uh cheddar or um uh what is it jack cheddar the spicy Monster. one no the spicy spicy jack is that right i like pepper spicy jack. cheese yeah pepper jack there we go pepper jack that shit's I like good monster dude. monster's good too yeah any kind of stank che- cheese is pretty good yeah I like blue stank. cheese i love blue cheese, blue cheese on dude. a burger <sighs> when i used to drink dude my favorite like uh bougie drink was uh dirty martini with blue cheese stuffed olives and i could eat blue cheese stuffed olives forever that shit was so good. Like, I liked it better than the drink. I don't know. It was good. <laughs> it's good stuff. Pal, can we have one show every week? I've never actually, I've never live streamed from my channel ever. I think I'll, I'm going to save it for something probably not important and just live stream. Well, Pal is almost impossible to nail down, and we've got him on a schedule right now. So changing that I up. Do, right? I do. Yeah, I never missed a show. I never yeah, missed no, a show. we've got him on a schedule right now. Uh, you missed one show, Pal um but <laughs> i feel like you guys tricked me into that shit <laughs> you guys pulled a fast one on me it was not know. your fault we got our schedules mixed up i had a good record going there for <laughs> he's look he's Nobody seriously butthurt thousand. about missing the one show look at him i was proud of it i was the only <laughs> one that had missed this show. that's all i had you guys took it from me you fuckers Quicksilver has a question for, for me but go ahead i think you have the babe shell too stan 
Uh, he grabbed the Atmizu vape shell off straight in sight for the billet box, having trouble with muted flavor and coil burnt taste. He put a 2.5 millimeter ID 28 gauge fuse, fuse Clapton in it, and he's not getting good flavor. I think it's uh, the vape shell is you, you gotta watch your wicking. Yeah, I mean, that sounds if you're having muted flavor and a burnt taste, then you've got a wicking issue. Yeah, like the uh, with the vape shell, it's very really, you don't need a lot of wick. With the 2.5, I, I put the cotton in and I, I comb my wick out a, a fair bit. And then I just stuff it because the vape shell, the wicking's on the very bottom. I just kind of like just tuck it into the wick hole and like dam up that hole. Yes. And then after I wet the wick, I'll stick like a really thin screwdriver and I'll make like a little air pocket in my in my. The thing my people don't, a, a lot of times, a lot of people that try to build RTAs and stuff, um, or rebuildable sections have issues with the wicking because they don't understand that those holes you don't have to stuff cotton through them you don't have to fill them up like you can but you need to make sure that there's space in there for the cotton to move around um because for one the cotton will swell and if you're feeling any tension on your tool that you're pushing the cotton through then it's too dang tight it's way too tight um a lot of times on most wicking holes situations on rebuildables and rtas like Louis said, the dam, da just damming up that, just putting the cotton in front of that hole. When it gets wet, the cotton will swell a little bit and it'll block it perfectly. Like you won't have to mess with anything and it keeps you from clogging up those holes as well. Yeah, uh, the cotton looks like that. You're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. That right there, there's no excuse for that. that and the vape show and the steam the tuners, uh, the steam tuners bridge. Um, that they be kind of wick the same. You need the most minimal amount of cotton. You're gonna put the cotton in. You're gonna think, oh, this is gonna leak. But it, it really, it's not gonna. It won't leak. I've never had it leak. I mean, I've had it gurgly, and if it gets gurgly, I'm like, okay, I just need to touch a touch extra cotton. And Either that, or just go in with your tool and push your cotton towards your wick holes a little more. Yeah, that'll work too. Yep. That'll keep it from gurgling. John yep. Q. Geezer said, watch Todd wicking for the vape shell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just watch Todd. And Todd's, Todd's also going to have a pro at wicking that stuff. Yeah, He's all right. Yeah. He's okay. Coil building, no. But wicking, yeah. Todd, Coil Todd. building, no. <laughs> Todd's pretty good on that wicking. <laughs> that was shots fired by Louie. I'm telling Todd right now. I'm telling him. He's going to fucking William Wallace you, dude. Probably. <laughs> Any more questions Probably. for you, bro? No, everyone's just kind of chatting it's been like the whole time i've really been in chat just bullshitting with everybody so okay cool well we're, we're reaching the end of the show um we appreciate you guys for coming we appreciate the the conversation provided by the chat uh i hope you guys enjoy the content we bring um we like to talk about new stuff coming out uh we like to give you guys heads up on things um i'm gonna go check out and see if the sick crow list is still up and i'm going to catch the end of the texans game so yeah ravens at 4 30 are the texans playing right now i think they are i think they are yeah uh we got uh, some i'm going to a tool uh, concert so there well yeah. you can you can eat me yeah mine's not until november 25th dude tool, tool was the soundtrack to high school for me and louis dude yeah. tool i i love it was tool. a soundtrack tool in perfect circle man those are my dude. jams Yes. I've never seen Tool in concert ever. I haven't either. Oh, you're I haven't gonna either. Have Tool, to I want to see before I die. <laughs> I want to see Tool. I want to see Green Day. Uh, I want to see Incubus. Um, pro some of these bands will probably never play live again. Um, I want to see. Those are the three main ones, I think. Tool will be in Houston on uh, the beginning of November. Yeah, but I can't afford. Uh, I'm trying to go Dude, to DC would, for the dude, rally. That would, that would be in, yeah. like insane. Oh if yeah, DC rally November 9th. I'll be going. Stan's going. I will I'm not trying. be going. I'm I'll trying. Be working. It's not 100, percent but I'm yeah. trying my hardest. Louis lives in DC, so he's like right there. I don't live in DC. Not but live. Are same thing. Louis is a politician. Same thing. <laughs> Louis secretly is Louis a lobbyist. Different. Louis lobbies for a, a weapons manufacturer. So oh, Louis is a weapons day. manufacturer, yeah. okay. lobbyist. Swags yeah. is a flat earther. And yeah. uh, this has been the High Invade Forum. Beautiful. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. Is there anything you guys want to say? 
Uh, dude, uh, to all you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Everyone that uh, said happy birthday on Facebook stuff, thank you guys. And uh, there should be like a non vape related vlog going up from the from this week of debauchery in Phoenix. So that should be cool. Fun. Yeah, you guys have a good weekend. Thank I you. I just so saw much. this in chat, and the answer is hell yes, British eyes only. Absolutely. Um, what? what? He said, Do you want one of my big ass coils? I said, Hell yes, I want one of your big ass coils. Uh, I appreciate it. Graham, we used to see Green Day back in the day in Berkeley. Garth that Brooks. Pretty Dude, good. I grew up on some Garth Brooks. Guys, thank you very much. You Garth guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Remember, Green Day. I got a Melody Box Dalrin if you guys want. <laughs> Hit me up. <laughs> Let me take a remember Let that. Let me know. Let me know. Um, you guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And remember, Shout out to all those flat earthers out there. Swags. Swags. Hey, check out the merch links in the chat or in the description. Merch links. Vape on friends. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just durka, durka. dumped a bunch of stuff all over the desk. <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs>